up, you guys? I'm Lisa Schwartz, and welcome back to Will You Accept This Ride here on The Bachelor Insider. You guys, don't forget to subscribe because we are only three episodes in and things are already heating up. It is hot like a potato. Ah, oh, hot potato, hot. It's so hot, ouch. There were surprise goodbyes, gloves, and Ari eating on a date. He's even sexy when he eats. The personalities are coming out. Woo boy, sweet baby Crystal is rubbing people in all the wrong ways. Wait, if I grab you up? Yeah, sure. Okay. See you girls in a bit. Bye guys. That's yeah. savage. Okay. Luckily, she seems blissfully unaware of their feelings. Or is she? After a few weeks in the house and sharing only four bathrooms, it seemed appropriate to blow off steam with Ari in a wrestling. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Some of the girls have been at each other's throats a little bit, and now they'll have an opportunity to actually kill each other. This is not good. I'm the cougar. She's the crusty cougar. Crystal used the date as an opportunity to endear herself to the other ladies in the house. I slammed her down a couple times, and I had so much fun. And Marika and Lauren B did something else that felt really uncomfortable to watch. This is like so weirdly sexual. Poor Lauren S was so confused about how to let her guard down, so instead she just let the floodgates open and she just kept talking. Like by April, I was just really itching. And that's why music's such a big part of my life too. So, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. I have been so blessed with an amazing family, which I do want to talk to you about tonight. And ultimately, when Arya had to decide whether or not to give her the rose, he decided to give her a one-way ticket home. I'm very sorry. The first surprise departure of the season caused a kerfuffle. Mm. Kerfuffle. Mm. A kerfuffle. It freaked everyone the f out. date on an outing with a bunch of furry friends, Tia and Bibiana prayed for the success of the date. Dear God, thank you for my friend Tia, and let one of those girls get bitten by a puppy. Love you, bye. Amen. And we saw another phobia that Annalise had. I almost lost my eye. <laughs> yeah. At the rose ceremony cocktail hour, Annalise was lamenting about the fact that Arius kissed everyone but her, and she was going to do her best to make it happen. Oh. Yeah. Um, and then it didn't happen. But the queen did not back down. Oh no, she did not. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't think we're there yet. <laughs> and at the end of the night, my favorite Bibiana said adieu. And someone needs to just give me a break. Bibs, you were so full of wisdom right up to the end. Girl, all I wanted to do was give you a hug. You know what? That's exactly what I'm gonna do! Kibble's a big step on it! <laughs> I gotta do beyond that hug. <laughs>my guest tonight is not gonna sugarcoat anything about her time in the Bachelor Mansion, and I am so ready for it. Bibiana! Hey, Lisa! You accept this ride? Yeah! Yes, get in, girls! It's raining! Hi, welcome! Thank you. Bibs, I'm so sad that you are no longer, but I'm so excited that you're here, and I feel like we should celebrate. I think we should too. This is how they do it in Miami? Yeah, we stay popping bottles for every occasion. Really? Yeah. <laughs> All right, to you leaving the mansion. Woo! <laughs> Let's start from the very beginning. When you stepped out of that limo. Oh, girl. I need to know like your thoughts. Were you more nervous to like be on camera or to see Ari or a little bit of both? There was so much going on that the cameras weren't as overwhelming as like all the the girls that kept coming in. There's so many of us at this point. Do you feel mm -hmm. like a lot of people weren't actually there for the right reasons? I really don't feel like that right now. Um, I'm excited to see, yeah. you know, like now is when you really start to see where the intentions are. The girls- Even Crystal, you feel like she's still there for the right reason, she's just I just, you it. know, some girls are just a little bit crazy inside. Everybody here is trying to just not step on it, you know, just be respectful. Crystal met his 
family. So she had like this overly confident thing. She already had a rose and she went in for double time. And yeah. then she was picking out like her picket fence and her house and their puppies. Like she drew the whole like family picture after that. And crazy bitches like that, you can't take home to meet your family right away because they come back even crazier. If you really think that I'm gonna fall for this little la 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 la, <laughs> you have to be kidding me. Mic drop! So how about when Lauren asked it didn't come home? And they like dramatically pull her suitcase away. Okay. Did you guys, you guys did not expect that. I did not expect it, but Lauren and I actually really hit it off in the house. Oh, that's, see, that sucks when and, we say goodbye. Oof, sorry. Ooh, girl. I burped. Oh. <laughs> it's like, get the bar bag. <laughs> Bibs is coming out. You know when you burp with champagne and you it like feel it through your nose? nose? Every episode happens to me and I try to just like subtly hold it in and no, no one notices. <laughs> Let's jump now to, you, know, you guys went to do the glob. Sounds like like love handles that hang out of your pants. I'm experiencing like right here, so much right here. This right is glob now. right here. Okay, so glob day comes and you show up there and there's these two crazy women from Glow, like mm -hmm. the original, and you are not having it. Tell me okay. everything. First of all, why do you gotta bring all that heat onto me? Like, then you diss my mom. Does your mom know how to spell when she gave you that name? It just doesn't even make sense. <gasps> Viviana, what is that? I don't know. And I knew I sucked at wrestling. Like, I don't come from a background of like straddling people, lady, like chill out. I mean, I do, but I suck at wrestling. <laughs> She called me pathetic and I was like, well, who the hell are you to call me pathetic? And I've already had such a tough time already. I'm just like so exa I'm getting cranky at this point and I'm just you're barking up the wrong tree. Help back up. Back up. Back, back up. up. And I had this moment just like just take a breather and I open my eyes and Ari's staring right at me. I'm just like, don't hit this woman. <laughs> And then I was just like, okay, no, let's have fun with it at this point. Well, like, you got Tia, you like rallied Tia mm -hmm. up and I loved that about you. I felt like, like that there was girl power where you're like, yeah. let's just make this work. You can be the Southern Belle and I'll be the Bridezilla. And you're actually really, really good at it. Oh God. You got the glob down. Bridezilla's done. Having worked your like way around the wrestling ring, I feel like you are a pro now. So we're gonna play a little game called What the Glob? Up for stakes is the Glob Championship Belt. Let's do this. If you were to have a signature move, what would it be called and why? Twerk machine. Why, girl? Because I like to twerk. Uh, okay. <laughs> Did Ari ever get to see that? No. Do you think he can handle that? No, girl. Come on. I don't. <laughs> the Gold Digger and the Princess, were they wrestling or performing a scene of softcore porn? Oh my gosh, poor babies. How come they didn't understand? <laughs> <laughs> they're both, okay, so this is, it's they're so both important. really, like, Lauren and Marique are very, just like, very delicate girls. Like, you don't, like, you can't throw them in a wrestling match. You're not gonna know what to do. Maybe if, like, they were paired with more aggressive people, but then they put them together, <laughs> and it just turned into, it like, just, I didn't know, maybe they were, like, a lyrical dancing. Totally. <laughs> You're just like touched. With a smack and ass and a dollar bill, y'all. Dollar, dollar bill, yeah. I was for it. I was like, tap that booty. Tap it, girl. I loved it. What wrestling move would you pull on Ari? Choke hold. <laughs> I feel like you could Woo! kick his ass. I probably could. Girl, I mean, there is no doubt that you are the ultimate winner of all things. Careful, heavy. Woo! Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Bibs, you set up the perfect date, and then everyone went on the date but you. <laughs> How many people? <laughs> Did you set this up? I didn't. This is so pretty. Okay. okay. <laughs> it was and so I cute. Come out. And it wasn't Lauren's fault. Like, I know it wasn't. Like, it was right in front of the house. What are you supposed to do? Did he know you set that up? No. We know what you signed up for. He's gonna have all these girlfriends. Yeah. 
and we know he's the kissing bandit. Did it gross you out to know like, no. oh my god, I'm making out with this all is, four Lawrence. Okay, so this isn't gonna this is gonna sound weird, but it really didn't. It, like, did. I, it didn't. I just I know what I signed myself up for. I know that this guy has 29 or whatever how many other girlfriends and really like what better way to find to have a husband like you literally just had a bunch of girlfriends he's gonna be so worn out <laughs> that's such a good perspective like though. he's gonna be so worn out that he's gonna be ready to just be with that one girl so like on it like really think about it what kind of you can't handle one woman now you just got all these women you have to deal with all these emotions and you get to just have one at the end of it. It's pretty good, it's a good deal. You have to see it that way. And you left on such a high note and I feel like you're very inspirational. Are there any other dating inspirations you can give to us watching? Just be yourself, right? I mean, everybody says it, but there's so many times where just like you filter who you are. For instance, like in my past, right? I used to kind of like conform and adapt. And I think as women, we tend to just like Absolutely. adapt so easily and guys are just stuck in their ways. And through that, I realized, you know what? This isn't going to be good for me because six months in, I'm nagging about this guy not doing the things that I'm into or whatever. And I was like, I need to just own who I am from the beginning and be unapolog unapologetically myself and not give a crap. Because time's oh, up. Oh, time's, time's up. up. <laughs> well, I think things worked out for you because according to the sources, you got to go to the Winter Games. Hell yeah, baby. How was it? Tell me everything. I'm so excited. It's amazing. I got to meet everybody. Mm -hmm. We had a blast. I suck at winter sports. Okay. You get to live with people. So you're waking up and hanging out with them. It's not like you're like, it's like paradise. fighting for time. Okay. It is like paradise, but even better because every day you get to go and you have competitions. And Look you how get excited! I'm so excited. May or may have not found a man. May or may have not gone on a few dates. Oh hell yeah! The cool thing about Winter Games is you're not waiting around for a date card to tell you who's going on a date. You fight for that card. Compete. Like you have to ski for you it. You have to compete for it. All these kinds of different sports that we had to do, and it's so much fun because everybody's just laughing at each other. Not everybody is great. We had Mr. Ben Higgins. Gotta talk about him. Is he ready we for have. love? Is he ready for love? We have to wait and see. Oh, Babs gets busy, I feel like. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I have Dini babies. <laughs> oh my god, Babs, you're blowing my mind. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, Babs. Cheers. You're my favorite. <laughs> Well, honestly, it has been a pure delight having you, and I hope that we see you more in the future, although I hope that you do find true love. But like, also, I hope that we see you more in the future, so like, <laughs> hold off for a little bit, would you? <laughs> Bye! I hope to see you soon. We can recap. You gotta text me and let me know what you think about Winter Games. Yeah, I can't wait, girl. I hope you, you make out with all the gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Bye! Bye, boo! Ah! I love her so much, and I'm so sad to see her go. But at least we have the Winter Games coming and there's more Bibiana on the way! <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed tonight. You guys, we are just beginning. We have such a journey ahead of us and I will be here with you to go through it together. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos and I will see you next Monday right here after The Bachelor. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Step on the